Have you ever picked up a rock and wondered why it looked that color? Was it just dirt? Or was it hiding something extraordinary inside? Today you're about to discover that every rock color tells a story. A story of chemistry, heat, and time. And sometimes hidden crystals waiting to shine. Welcome to Gem Vibes, where we decode the language of Earth itself. When you walk across a trail or along a riverbed, you're stepping over messages written by nature. Those reds, greens, yellows, and blues in rocks aren't random. They're signals, signs of the minerals and crystals forming within. The color of a rock is nature's fingerprint, and if you can read it, you can find treasure. Let's learn how to listen to what those colors are saying. Let's begin with one of the boldest colors in nature. Red. Red rocks almost always mean iron. When iron oxidizes, it turns red, like rust on metal. That same process colors rocks and, in some places, grows crystals. In iron-rich zones, you'll often find garnet, jasper, and even ruby-bearing metamorphic rocks. Iron adds strength, color, and sparkle to gemstones. That's why red rocks are hot spots for fire-colored gems. If you're near mountainous regions or metamorphic zones and you see rusty red stones, pay attention. That red might be hiding a heart of ruby or garnet beneath it. In gem hunting, red rock means passion and potential. Now shift your eyes to green. Green rocks are nature's way of saying, copper was here. Copper minerals like malachite, chrysocala, and turquoise paint the earth in shades of jade and teal. When copper combines with other elements, it can form emerald, one of the most prized green crystals on earth. So where you see green streaks or veins, you may be standing near the birthplace of emeralds. In deserts or mountain valleys, green and blue stains on gray rock can be more than pretty patterns. They're markers of old copper veins that cooled slowly, the perfect recipe for gem formation. Even turquoise with its cloudy sky colors grows where copper and aluminum meet in dry ground. So the next time you see a green stone, don't just admire it. Realize it might be whispering about a crystal growing deep inside. Now let's talk about yellow and brown stones. These earthy tones come from iron hydroxides and sulfur, the ingredients of golden crystals. Yellow rocks often form near hydrothermal veins, where hot water once carried minerals through cracks in the earth. And when those fluids cool, crystals like citrine, topaz, or even pyrite begin to form. That's why yellow stones are so closely linked to the warmth of sunlight and wealth. Citrine's golden glow, for example, comes from trace iron heated at just the right temperature. That's nature's way of turning simple quartz into a gemstone of light. So if you find yellowish stones with small, shiny crystals, especially near ancient volcanic areas, you're in a good place. Those colors are nature's gold trail. Follow them, and you might just find treasure. Now let's dive into the rarest tone of all, blue. Blue in rocks is rare because few minerals create that color naturally. It often signals the presence of copper, sodalite, or lazurite. These are the minerals behind lapis lazuli, azurite, and sometimes even sapphire. So blue rocks are like the Earth's secret code. They mean look closely. Deep blue stones tell stories of high pressure and ancient heat. They form in regions shaped by both volcanic fire and ocean chemistry. When you find deep or royal bluestone veins, especially within marble or limestone, stop and inspect. It might not be ordinary rock. It could be a sapphire-bearing formation. And even if not, blue always points toward mineral richness below. Let's not overlook white and clear rocks. They may look plain, but they're often the birthplace of gemstones. White stones usually contain silica, and silica builds quartz, one of the most common hosts for gems. Within those white or transparent rocks, you'll often find amethyst, rose quartz, or citrine crystals. So the next time you see a white rock with translucent streaks, take a second look. That could be quartz veins slicing through the stone. And where there's quartz, there's a chance of hidden crystals inside cavities known as geodes. Crack one open, and you might see the sparkle of purple amethyst smiling back at you. White rocks might look calm, but they're crystal kingdoms in disguise. Then there are the black rocks, mysterious, powerful, and ancient. 
They often contain basalt, magnetite, or obsidian, all born from volcanic fire. Black rock signals energy and transformation, the forces that form gemstones like peridot and topaz. In some volcanic regions, black soil hides kimberlite pipes, the channels that carry diamonds to the surface. So if you ever find black, glassy stone with tiny crystals embedded, that's volcanic history and possibly treasure. Sometimes you'll even see rainbow-colored rocks, a swirl of reds, greens, yellows, and blues. That's not random either. Those layers formed as minerals flowed through cracks, depositing colors over time. The result? Stones like agate, jasper, and opal, which wear Earth's history like art. When you see that banded look, you're looking at millions of years of change frozen in color. Now here's a question gem hunters always ask. How can I tell if the color means there's actually a crystal inside? Start with texture. If the color runs through the rock instead of just coating the surface, that's a good sign. Next, look for sparkle. Real crystals reflect light differently, even under dirt. Finally, test with a magnet or UV light. Some gem-rich minerals react in fascinating ways. Colors and textures together tell you more than either alone. Veins, bands, or repeating streaks mean mineral fluids once flowed through that rock. And where fluids flow, crystals grow. Nature leaves trails, you just have to read them. That's the art of gemstone hunting. Chromium and vanadium color emeralds green. Titanium gives sapphires their deep blue. And when heat and pressure change these minerals' chemistry, brand new gemstones appear. So color isn't just decoration. It's a message from the planet's chemistry lab. Every shade tells the story of the gem within. Sometimes, though, the absence of color says the most. Plain gray or white stones can hide brilliant crystals in their cracks. Even the most ordinary-looking rock can hide a secret heart of light. So, the next time you hold a stone, remember, it's not just a rock. It's a memory, a message, a miracle that took millions of years to form. Colors are the clues, patterns are the proof, and crystals are the rewards for those who listen to what the earth has to say. This is Gem Vibes, where stones speak and colors reveal their hidden secrets. Stay curious, stay grounded, and keep exploring the language of the earth. Because the next time you bend down to pick up a colorful rock, you might be holding more than beauty. You might be holding a piece of time itself. And that, my friend, is what these rock colors truly say about hidden crystals.